Welcome back to Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop movies number 670. This is Hans Gruber. Alright, so before we take a look at the pop, let's go ahead and take a look at the clamshell. As you can see here, there are no clips on the clamshell at all. Just kind of flopping around. I'm not sure why Funko does that, why some of their pops, clamshells, have clips and others don't. Uh, but I prefer the clips. And then we have the box. As you can see here, Pop Movies Die Hard 670, only at GameStop, Hans Gruber vinyl figure. You see the uh, glass shards from the window that John McClane smashed through right there on the uh, uh, bars, if, whatever you want to call them. Uh, not really sure what you would call them, but I, they're bars. And then here on the display side, down at the bottom, Okay, and then on the back, I want to get this whole line. Uh, number 667 is John McClane. 668 is Al Powell. 669 is Hans Gruber. 671 is Tony Vresky. Now, if they wanted to do a Family Matters line of Funko Pops with Carl... And Steve Urkel, and Eddie, and Laura, and Harriet. All they would have to do is take Al Powell from the Die Hard Pops. Change him just a little bit. Not even a lot. Just a little bit. To make him Carl Winslow. Uh, of course, they were played by the same character, Reginald Vell Johnson. Uh... He got his. Uh, he first appeared in uniform as a police officer in Perfect Strangers, which Family Matters was a spinoff of. For those of you who didn't know, uh, he then appeared in Die Hard. He also appeared in Ghostbusters as the uh, officer that kind of lets the police off or lets the Ghostbusters out of jail. Uh, so he is known for his police officer roles. They they could they could do a variant of Al Powell um, with nothing in his hands because as you can see there he's got his Twinkies in his hands. Um, they could do a variant of him just kind of you know standing there whatever and in like a pose or whatever, um, and they could really cross that over between. Multiple lines, uh, just change the box, and that would be it. Uh, have a Ghostbuster style box, have a Family Matter style box, have a Perfect Strangers box. Uh, they could save money that way rather than remolding him all the time. And just, you know, maybe change the paint a little bit so that it would show up... Uh, for, you know, Al Powell and for Ghostbusters, it'd be New York Police Department. For Family Matters and for Perfect Strangers, it would be Chicago Police Department. Who knows? Uh, but that would be a pretty cool idea. Uh, definitely want to get John McClane and Tony Vresky. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. John, of course, can do that impression a lot better than I can. Uh, speaking of John, he has a channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's called The Logic. I will link it below. 
He's been doing a lot of reviews of the uh, Savage, uh, Savage World Funko figures. Um, so make sure you check those out. Uh, again, that's called The Logic. The link will be in the description below. I'll even put a link to it at the end of this episode so you guys can check out their channel. So anyway, there's the box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Hans Gruber. This is actually how he comes out of the package uh, with his head turned like that. Uh, I'm not sure if it was meant to be like that, but that's how mine came out of the package. Uh, his head does rotate like most pops. He's in his business suit that he's shown wearing in the movie along with his gray trench coat. His hands are in his pockets. You can see nice paint job on the beard. There is a little bit that did not get painted on the back of his head, on his hair. Uh, he's got the gray streaks in his hair. Very nice. But overall, not much going on with this figure. Um, yeah, he's he's Hans Gruber, Alan Rickman. Um, <laughs> what more is there to say about him? I mean, he's got the gray streaks in the front of his hair. Very nice figure. I would have loved to be able to review this entire line all together. Uh, maybe I'll see what I get for Christmas. Uh, who knows? Maybe my wife would have may have got me John McClane. I don't know. Uh, but if I don't get him for Christmas, then maybe I can get him after Christmas. Get the entire line and review them all together in a once a month pop review type deal. Uh, as I've said before, uh, this will be one of the last regular pop reviews I do for Come Again TV. Um, they, starting in 2019, they will no longer be every Tuesday. As you guys may have guessed, there there were no pop reviews. This these were the first um, pop reviews I did for the month of November. Uh, I just kind of. Like I said, we're fa I'm phasing them out. Um, if I do pop reviews in the future, I'll wait until I get a bunch of them. Do it maybe once a month. Just go through and review them all. Not even schedule them or anything. Just upload them and just flood YouTube with the reviews one day out of the month. Who knows? But anyway, there you have it, guys. The Pop Movies Die Hard, number 670, Hans Gruber. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends, and have a Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.